morning, chill ladies. My name is Jack Septiguy, and welcome back to Visage. I'm gonna try and finish it in this video. I think we're near the end. I think there's only like a little bit left in the early access, according to people. So I'm gonna try and finish it out. I oh crap. I forget if there was anything down here. Did I collect anything down here? Is the jump scare gonna be there again? Yeah, what's up, little girl? Yeah, get lost. Okay, so. Where did I try and go? Okay, you're opening on your own, so that's a good sign. Oh yeah, this thing happened. And I assumed I had to open it because... Oh yeah, these are like... God, I can't see anything! Hello! Okay. Grab. Open. Cool. Grab, open. Cool. I don't know what that means. Is there anything in this? I think it's like grab. I mean, you guys can see about as much as I can at this point. All right, last time I tried to go here through here, the big demon boy killed me. Hey, he's not here this time. That's good. Can I pass on through? No, thanks. I hate that song. Ah, it's the it's Mary and the Baby Jesus. How are you lads? <laughs> okay, that was not a person. Okay, okay. That is my cue to F the O out of here. Now, come on, lady, you're losing your head. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Go, 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 before that fucking abomination comes after me again. He loves the camera, though. Loves getting his picture taken. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, autosave. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Okay, so these are all making noise. Do you have a bad in you? I don't know if I'm so What am I supposed to do? Like, I really don't want to open up a demon closet. Okay, there's something in that one. Okay, we're at the edge of the map here. Okay, knock, knock, no one's there. Demon. That's a demon closet. That's a demon closet. That's a heavy, breathy demon closet, I think. Or is it you? Oh no! Oh! That's a bunch of bobby heads! <laughs> oh no, god! No thanks! Okay. Just sounds like a bunch of people with sleep apnea. Ooh, candles. Oh, there's just a hole in the ground. Oh god, I thought I was gonna die. Oh, there's a shadow. Where, oh, where, oh, where is shadow? Wait, can I do this again? Come on! Oh, that's cool! Oh, that's so creepy! Everything's upside down like poltergeist. Okay. I can oh, I can lift you. Oh, that's some paranormal activity shit. <laughs> Whose shadow is that? It's mine! It was me all along! Oh, what fresh hell. Okay, keep your wits about you, boys. 
and girls, and everyone in between. You know, everyone out there, just keep your wits about you. Ugh. It's a septic eye. Pee pee hi hi. Back up. I've been doing great in my sanity, by the way. Oh god. Oh, the shadow's gone. Okay. What's up, Felix? Sit. Never sit. If there's an open chair, just leave it be. Fuck another monster closet. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna look around first. Can I move this? Your hands are full. Okay, well, how about we just we how about we store this? Okay? Hands are full. No, they're fucking not! Okay, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. S store. And this I can drop because I've never ever used them. Okay, there we go. Huh. Okay, take the camera out again. Ooh, is this back into the house? Ooh. Ah, okay. I get where I am now. Alright, that's back to the stairs where the freaky little dick girl was. Wait, can I not go anywhere here? Do you guys still not work? <sighs> okay. Guess this fucking thing again. Didn't do anything. All right, so maybe there's a section back because I went down and I took a thing out of something, so maybe it's on the opposite side of something else. Maybe we have to go back down again. Why did you do that? Okay, okay, that's new. Auto saving, great. Doors take forever to open. Oh, Christ. Where am I? I want to get back to normality. I want to go home. Okay, everyone kind of looks familiar, but not at the same time, if you know what I mean. Oh, there's people! Oh, it's like I am legend! You guys want your picture taken? It's locked, you need the rusty key. How the fuck do you know? You just saw the door. How do you know it needs a rusty key? The 
deeper I go, the sadder I get. Ooh. Key. My god, those are very easy to miss. Found a rusty key, okay. That's good. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that rusty key and run. That's a, a parody of Rusty Cage by Soundgarden. Fantastic song, go listen to it. What? Your hands are full. God. God damn me and my big stupid full hands. Okay, store that. And then store this. Okay. Oh, okay. I use this to get across the boys. Aha. Maybe? Yes. See you later, bitches. Auto save. That's what I like to see. Okay, we're making serious progress now, y'all. Oh my god, this looks exactly like the hallway from PT. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Fuck me! Go away! Oh no! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh god, you're not chasing me or anything, are you? <laughs> Throw plates at it! Put a little fence around it! That's blocked. You're pointing me this way, so... Why wouldn't I go this way? Actually, why would I just... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, why would I trust the demon wall? Why indeed? Why did I do that? <sighs> Note to self! Big freaky demon drawings point you in a direction. Go the opposite! Fuck this game! But also, hell yeah! Auto save me, please. Auto save me for the love of God. Oh no. Whoa! God damn, can I climb this? Make little steps for myself. Oh, interact. <laughs> oh. Someone is a serious hoarder. You you have a problem. You need someone to come Can you imagine what this room could be used for otherwise? Oh god. Never even thought about what could be on the roof. That's the roof, by the way is a very underappreciated, underused aspect of horror games because no one ever looks up. So that's a great place to hide things. And then on like a next playthrough and you're looking all around the place and you see something up in the sky, it's a good place to hide it. So one thing I liked about PT was when the lady was upstairs, but she's only there for one section and you can miss it completely on your first playthrough. I didn't because I'm, you know, great at video games. Why are you standing in the dark for too long? I fucking know. Okay, where to now? Can I use my lighter yet? Hey, hey! I'm back, baby! Not available in the early access. Nothing indicates which key unlocks it. Oh. What the fuck? Your sanity is decreasing fast. God damn it. Can I light the candle and get my sanity back? 
pop some pills? Popping pills. Okay. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I have no idea where that is. Maybe I should just head back upstairs somewhere. Can I like- oh, that's not a candle. light. Oh, okay. Am I okay in here? Get that lighter. Hell yeah. Did that door just lock? Oh no. Oh no, I came in here to get away from the bad. Oh no. Wait, what do I do? Excuse me? Mr. Bath? A teeny tiny window. Oh, crap. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, fuck! Fucking peeping Tom staring at me going for a bath. Oh, no. I'm busy. I'm taking a bath real quick! A bath from the scares! Okay, that lighter is fucked. Lighter's empty, so I don't need to keep it. Okay, that's kind of nice, actually. Is this the new one? Oh, <gasps> so brightness! Wow! I love that. Oh, that bath is legitimately just filling its ass up. I don't know what this is. Whatever. Pick up the pick up the hairdryer and throw it in the bath. Kill whatever demons are in there. Plug it in first though. Ow! Oh. I could just turn the light back on. <laughs> I'm out of your tricks, demons. The demons come in and they're like, ha ha ha, you'll never be able to see. I Aw, man. I thought I could see something in. Am I legitimately just waiting for this bath to fill up? Oh fuck! Did you see that? Interact. Oh. Fuck the shower curtain. Can I turn the light back on? Oh fuck off! I would be dead if that was a thing that was gonna kill me! I, my first reaction is to put my hands all off the controls. Oh my god, it keeps getting me! I'm not ready for any of these scares. Oh my god, can I- are you actually gonna get in the bath? Excuse me, my bath is ready. I've been a dirty, filthy boy. Good thing I drew a bath as well, because I have shit all over the inside of my pants. I'll just take those off and rinse for a little bit, get the smell off me. Get the filth off me. Why? Why are you getting in this bath? If a demon turns on a bath for you, you don't hop in and say howdy doody. You say no thanks, I'm clean. You farting in the bath? Oh, something's gonna grab you. Ooh, demon lady! Oh, you sound like the grudge. 
Wait, was that it? Oh, no, there's more. Flashbacks. Pico. Why would she do that? She loved Pico. I don't know. She's never done anything like it. We, uh, I think we should see a professional. <laughs> Did she eat the bird? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> she ate the bird. Well, I was going to say that she eat the bird without any sort of influence or anything, but no, I, I remember now she said that the friend made her do it. So she got possessed and ate the bird, and then the parents were like, well, let's stop her full of needles. It's like the exorcist. <sighs> you heard the diagnostic. She could be in danger. We don't have much of a choice. I know all that, but who the hell prescribes syringes for a child? Couldn't they just give us pills like everyone else? How can a child trust a parent that thrusts needles up their arms? This new doctor clearly doesn't know anything about parenting. Okay, it's very hard to hear that. I thought I thought I had subtitles on at one point. Hold on, let me let me turn them on real quick. Uh general? Subtitles. Enabled, yeah. Why are they not playing? Might have to boost them, boost that audio in the post just so you can hear it. Because it's it's, very, it's even harder for me to hear it. I don't want their help anymore. Now they work. She's only been worsening ever since we went to these doctors. Imaginary friends and all these weird behaviors. She doesn't even call me mom anymore. They're just trying to help. It's not their fault. Even before we sought their help, she had problems. She killed Pico for fuck's sake. You remember that's how people talk okay back to the smelly bath again oh that's really cool looking though visuals in this game are really good oh nice little blood bath for me I have been feeling a little too clean lately That sounds a lot sludgier than it did last time. You know blood kind of thickens when it gets old, right? And hardens and everything. That must smell great. Whatever you're into, man. Actually, you know, not whatever you're into. If you're into submerging yourself in blood, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> okay. Experiment to breed underwater. Failed. <laughs> we chalked that one up to experience. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, ooh. Demon, demon. Demon, 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 demon! What's going on? If you want to stop the nation, it won't open! Lucy, open that door now. Oh god. She ripped her own jaw off? What the 
fuck? Oh! Congratulations, you've completed all the main content from the Early Access. We can't wait to read your feedback. Thank you for playing the Early Access from everyone at Side Square. Ah, oh, cool! So I wonder if... Is like that... Oh, it keeps going. I wonder if that demon with like the scissor fingers and everything. Edward scissor hands. I wonder if he like represents the doctor or something. Like with all the needles injecting or maybe it represents one of the parents or... I don't know. There's a key in the sink. You found the safe key. It's very ugly. What? The safe key? Ooh, yikes! End of Lucy's chapter. A gruesome end. Shit, dude. So I wonder if I go back to my thing now. Can I leave? <laughs> Uh, how do I get there fastest? I wonder if we go back to my progress room now, will... Like, her jaw be on the little thing. So used to clicking this now, it's just force a habit. Something made a noise right as I did that. Yeah! Her jaw's there. Okay, I get it. So, there's gonna be two more chapters to the game. What's up, Jesus? Um... And I'm assuming she was one of the people in the chairs. Well, maybe not, if she ripped off her own jaw. Because I thought it was gonna be the three things were the three people who were shot at the start. Who knows, but we finished Lucy's chapter. What happened? The freaking game crashed! Alright, I want to see what this key does, and it said it was a safe key. And I have a safe rooney right here. Ha! Okay, I can't see anything. Pick up. You found a strange note, what does it mean? Okay, well I can't see it here. And I can't use my camera, because every time I press X to change items in my inventory. Room 302. Basement. Ooh! Room 302 is from Silent Hill. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm not scared anymore because all the spooks are gone. Okay, I can't take out this lighter apparently. Ah, oh, glorious lights. Alright, let's head down to the basement. Can't see shit, Captain. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save, just in case. Let's save here. Because I guarantee you, as soon as I press X right now, wait, maybe if I have something in my hand. Nope, I can't equip anything. As soon as I press X, game's gonna crash. Watch. <laughs> oh, hey! Now that I restarted the game, my camera's in my right slot, and there's no light switch here. Up your fucking mind, game. Okay, where is this thing? Oh, 302! It's this one! Oh, no way! It's the room from Silent Hill 4! It's the room from Silent Hill 4, the room! Can I go in? That's awesome! Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's so stupid. 
Okay, well, that is all there is to see in this version of the game. Let's, uh, back out to the main menu. Sure, why not? I should have noticed. The freaking door from Silent Hill 4 is the door from the loading screen. It looked familiar. Um, that was really good. I highly enjoyed that game. That was like, what, a good two hours of game? Just in the early access alone? And there's like two more chapters left to go? It's like a six to eight hour game? Not bad. And it's really good. Like, I, I knew the visuals were gonna be nice because I saw the trailer and the screenshots and all that kind of stuff. So, I knew the atmosphere visually would be really nice, but the scares were really good. Like, I play a lot of horror games and I'm kind of desensitized to a lot of them, but it's... It's rare for me to get this invested in a spooky game to the point where I'm like fully immersed and I'm fully in the character's shoes and then when something scares me, it really scares me. The last time something like that happened, I think, was Simulacra. Because that game scared the shit out of me as well. Um, but I really, really enjoyed that. The sound effects were good, little bits of story here and there were good. Um, I was worried when I saw the trailer for it that it was going to be a little too topsy-turvy. A little too, like... Like Evil Within is a good example, because Evil Within and Layers of Fear are games all about constantly changing environments. Layers of Fear less so, because it's, it's changing environments, but it's still within the same space. Whereas Evil Within, it's like, oh, now you're here, now you're here, now you're here, now you're here. And it makes sense for the game, but for me, I kind of zone out really quickly when that happens, and I get very disjointed and disconnected from the world, so I can't get fully invested. So this was good, because it was just one house that you were exploring. Really reminded me of, obviously, PT, because that's what they're going for. But also, um, Resident Evil 7, like that first section of the game. Actually, the whole game is all set in, like, one little open world kind of area. But that first house that you're in, it reminded me of that, because you kind of know your way around, so when you have to do something, you know, oh, basement, that's over here, and oh, safe room key, that's up this way, in the office, kind of thing. So, I really like that. It had a really cool environment to it. At first, I thought maybe it was a little too big, but it, it, it makes a lot of sense the more you're playing it. Um, I'm very curious to see how the other chapters are going to play, if you're in the same house, or if you go to a different location after this for another chapter, and each chapter has its own space, or if you're just in this house, and you go to different locations that way. I don't know. I worry that it'll get a bit too disjointed later on, but even if this was just the full game, I would have been happy, because that was really fun. And I got spooked, and I thought it was entertaining, and I liked the scares, and they weren't like overtly like, BAH! kind of scares. Some of them were. Um, like when they catch you and shit like that, like th those are jump scares, but they feel like they belong and they're not overdone and some of the other jump scares like when you're flashing your camera makes way more sense because you're flashing a camera you're like, you're kind of expecting it, but not really at the same time you just don't know where they're gonna be because some of the problems with some jump scares is that they just come out of literally nowhere and you have no idea that it's gonna happen and then you get spooked and it's just it's more frustrating than anything because it like gets your fight or flight kicked in and you get full of adrenaline for no reason. Whereas this, it's like, you know you're gonna click the camera, so you're kind of waiting for it, so... If something scares you then, it works. So that's, that, those are perfect types of jump scares, I think. Um, but most of it was just subtle, creepy little sounds and little bits and pieces here and there that... Oh, really good. These people know what they're doing. Um, but that was Visage. That was my face. We played it all. Um, thank you guys so much for watching it. I hope you liked it. Um, Support the developers. It is still early access, so hopefully the entire game ends up getting made uh, And we can play the entire thing at some point and play the next chapter whenever that's out, but They're on to something really good, so I wish Sad Square the best moving forward with this game and any other endeavors they take on because they have a talent And I, I always respect that, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it Punch the like button in the face Like a boss and Hey guys, what up? Whoosh! Whoosh! But thank you guys, now we'll see all you dudes! Some of those ghosts I wanted to fucking punch in their visage.